for me so i submit to your work in me till christ no i am sincere no i am sincere no he has done what god has prepared for me so i submit to your work in me till christ be formed in me listen I have seen presidents travel. I have seen senior executives travel. Look at me, ladies and gentlemen. Because of their rank, because of the position that they occupy, and because of the advantage they provide for that nation or that organization, there are times that to see a president pass, you can almost be annoyed. They will stop you from moving. There will be a convoy of over 100 cars, yet the man is in only one of the cars. 50 will pass first with soldiers carrying all kinds of things to shock you, to flog you, to do all kinds of things. Even that you are away from the road, they can still flog you. <laughs> are we together? And suddenly you will see the man, sometimes he can even be as short as half of me, yet it does not matter. And he's in that car. There is a lesson there. That means there is a realm that you get to. The kind of supernatural protection. There are, I've taught you that there are angels that follow men. There are angels that follow offices. There are angels that follow mantles. And there are angels that follow seasons. You see, not everybody has the same level of spiritual defense i submit to you potentially yes but pragmatically speaking our physical world has taught us this so when you are in love with jesus christ when you are in love with his house his program genuinely and sincerely that your heart is panting after him you can be sleeping in peace and yet there are many demonic spirits suffering because they thought of doing something to you <laughs> hallelujah yes. that is the kind of immunity diplomatic immunity that you have to enjoy the bible says they shall take up poison don't go and drink poison find out who he saying will take up poison are we together? Passionate love for God. Let me submit to you sincerely. There are many believers who do not love the Lord. Now, I don't mean to insult you, but it's the truth. I have found out that many Christians do not love the Lord. They are around the things of God they are sympathetic to spiritual things. Are we together? They are affiliated to God, but they are not serious with God. To be serious with God does not mean to roll and cry. You can be rolling and crying and you are far from him. You are not even serious. Are we together? There are people who are deeply passionate about God. All that is in his heart is all that is in their heart. Lord, that which gives you joy, that which advances your kingdom, that which promotes your interest, this is what my life is about. I'm not talking of being a preacher, ladies and gentlemen. These are some of the things we have to learn from those who have gone ahead of us. Respectfully speaking, especially this, my generation of people, may God grant us the grace to not only fear God, but to love him. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Christianity that thrives just around convenience is a joke, not even in this end time. You will not know God that way. You must love him whether it is convenient or not. The issue of convenient Christianity, respectfully speaking, is what corrupted the Christianity in many developed parts of the world. It has to be convenient at my terms. No, sir. When our fathers taught us God, when those who went ahead of us taught us God, they taught us to love him without conditions. They taught us that when you, if God says, listen, 
if God says to love me, there are no conditions. There are not but if. <clears throat> Whether it works well for me or it does not work well for me, my love for Jesus remains intact. I, I want to be sincere with you so that you would know those who can secure exemption, especially this end time. Do you know what God, what it takes God to bring all of the arsenals of heaven to defend the interests of his purposes? No. It takes more than just reciting a five minutes prayer. It might not Satan uh, plus Jesus. Amen. No, no, no. Genuine love. For some of you here, the reason why you are not serious with God, respectfully speaking, is the kind of friends and association you have. If you are not courageous enough to lovingly cut yourself from dangerous and destructive associations, don't say it does not matter. I am both old and new school. I've told you this thing already. Depending on what you are discussing, when you are talking about technological advancement and all of that, I am new school. But we are, we are talking about foundational doctrines and truth. I am very old school. Hallelujah. This unnecessary evolution is destroying our generation. It's why we are not seeing the power of God. Passive, careless Christianity, it does not matter. After all, I know that God somehow... Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You want to see the hand of God in your life? You want to see exemption activated over your life? You want to become a recipient of God's defense and jealousy? Love him and watch what he does. I hope you know that every believer is the bride of Christ. And the Bible says jealousy is the rage of a man. The devil wants to come and play games with your life and God says it's me you are touching. He comes to stand before you and say, pass through me first before you touch this lady. Show me a man, a genuine lover of God. I show you a man who has mastered the art of frustrating negative prophecies. You will only talk rubbish for the rest of your life. Show me an organization that is founded upon love and passion for God. I once met a billionaire in this nation and we had the opportunity to talk with him. And I was just learning from him and saying, what would you have to teach me, sir? And he said, let me tell you this. My love for God supersedes every other thing. He said at his age, he still does evangelism and he still does all of these things. He said, money is nonsense. God took him from nowhere and put him where he is. And that blessed me and changed my life. Oh, may I never be too big to show you how much I love you. May I never become too anointed to show you how much I love you. May I never become too great, too popular, too influential. This is what you must pray about. Do you love him? Sincerely so. That's the question he's asking you right now. Do you love him? Do you love him more than money, more than church, more than fame, more than titles? Do you love him or do you just love anointing? Do you love him or do you just love church or ministry? Do you love him or you just like a, a life of enjoyment? I love you. Number two, what is the second key that activates supernatural exemption? Are you ready? discernment discernment you want to be exempted you must understand the mystery of discernment most people today have gotten into all kinds all kinds of troubles because they do not understand the power of discernment we have become victims terrible victims